What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Bloodstained. Ritual of the Night. The one weakness of whips are these two very specific lanterns. Last time, we did quite a bit, actually. We went and explored a few different places, got a few items that we needed to make strawberry crepes and flan in order to progress in a quest. We got done with a few secrets, explored literally everywhere else that we could potentially go, and lo and behold, we found what we need to actually progress. Strangely enough, not a shard, but an armor piece. The Aegis Plate. In this episode, we are going to head on over to where we need to go. Before we do that... Are you eating properly? So, what will it We be? are actually... Hold on. Promise. Because I... If I actually get a duplicate of this, this would actually be pretty nice. Uh, where is... I can never remember where Alchemical Bounty... There it is. It's just a couple underneath my whip expertise. If I can actually double this, this would actually properly? be great. What are we transmuting this time? But, our... Wow, we can actually make quite a bit. Uh, oh boy, we can even make chiffon cake. That was not on my list of things that I really need to do, but... Honestly, if I just buy another flower, I think I'm actually good to make it. And... Uh... Actually, no, I don't use up the sugar. So yes, it would only be flour. Well, that works. But we do need to make these. The strawberry owl late and the nectar. Because especially the nectar gives a lot of good bonuses. I'll go with this. And the nectar. I'll go with this. Great. So now the only thing left I need to do is Please go yourself. buy me some flour and I can make that chiffon cake. Alright. So now that we've gotten Hi, that, so, what'll it be? We can go ahead and make the chiffon cake. I'll go with this. Great. That spare dragon egg really came in handy. Promise you'll and, like I figured, the alchemical bounty didn't really do anything. But, at the very least, though, we can increase luck by two. Scrumptious. Uh, increase our MP recharge. Scrumptious. And get a lot of bonuses here. 30 extra MP, one extra intelligence, one extra mind, and two additional MP recharge per second. That nectar also costs like 4,000 gold if I want to buy that back. Which I mean, at the very least, I have a way to get those ingredients back. It's definitely going to cost me though. Alright. So, now that we have what we need in order to progress... All we have to do is make our way back to that area. Thankfully, it's not too far away from where this is. And I mean, we're already super souped up. We don't really need to worry about anything. We can basically just one shot or two shot in case of him. Uh, pretty much anything that we come across. So then... Yeah, it's a little bit further down. Alright. Now that we are here... Go ahead and remove that. All we have to do is get up over here. Uh, we do also need to get craft work. I guess while we're in the inventory, switch to the Aegis Point. Come on. 
That'd be very uncomfortably close. But now, we are invincible! And... Looks like they really emphasize that, hey, if you somehow didn't have gravity manipulation, you really need it. Oh. And then even... Oh, God! Okay, well, thankfully, I didn't actually get hurt by the Iron Maiden. Now you need to use all three. Okay. So what else is over here? I guess nothing, really. I guess you didn't really need to have to invert all of that. Uh, ooh. Okay, two different ways to go. Left is... Huh. Chest with crow hat. Where's the crow hat? A jet black hat. I like it. I like having just... I like black wide brim hats like this. Um... I mean, the Traveler's Head also kind of fulfills that similar role, but it's... It just hits a little bit different. Still gonna stick with the Santa hat, though. Uh... Okay. So, another painting of someone here. Still not entirely sure what exactly, like, the paintings of just kind of these separate ones are. Like, are, you, are they meant for, like, specific high, like, maybe high-paying, um, Kickstarters? Or, like, people who maybe, like, did it and potentially, like, died between when they donated and when the game came out? I'm not entirely sure. Oriental Sorcery Lab. Okay, now we're, we are fully in Japan, I guess. A gap. Ooh. And just like that, we get a shard from them. Augment strength. Demon wing. Okay. Well, you know what? We have Zengetsu, uh, so that probably shouldn't surprise me all too much. Uh, oh jeez, one of you guys. Who is the on? Okay, pickpocket again, 2,000 gold. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything there. Another Guzion. Another one of these gaps. And Hagenti. Oh, you can invert. You can invert gravity. Uh. How? How do you get to that chest? Come on, there we go. How do you get there? I mean... Oh, wait a minute, can you slide underneath this? No. Huh. Not like you can go underneath that way. Converting it doesn't like cause the bridge to just come up. It's still technically the ground. I mean, maybe we can, there's something that would make us really tiny and maybe we could squeeze through it that way. That, that seems like a really convoluted way to get to that though. Huh. Well, that's weird. Okay, more of these Guzions. Okay, anything else? Or just more of them. Okay, we've got a few places we can go. Here we have, what is that? Ooh. Okay, they're gates. Warp gates, it looks like, too. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of you. 
Chest has ramen recipes. Ooh. Okay, well, let's maybe explore around here. Ninjas! Oh boy, we had assassins, now we have ninjas. Okay, so that's just a loop. Cool. Uh, okay, uh, what else is through here? Uh, I'm a little bit confused as to why that why that worked and what the other one didn't. Okay, I am I'm very much confused as to how these work. I figured it was like one to one. Apparently it's not though. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so I can have fun with portals there. I can also have fun with portals there. That's... Okay, more fun with portals. I don't know why Miriam just kind of stops partway through like that. That's, that's not how you have fun with portals, Miriam. Okay, well, we can get up here. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we have to go through... What if we head over this way? Nope. Nope. There we go. Okay, well, we got to an exit. Hopefully, we can loop back around. More gars. Or gaps. Not gars. Ah! Ah! Okay, well, nothing really much here. Wow, you guys have just massive leaps. Chest has Crimsonite equipment. That's new. Okay, well, nice little bonus, but also not what we actually need. There we go. Okay. I saw that gate up there, and it's like, maybe if I go up that way? Sure enough. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Inverse. Right. <laughs> so I was like, how do I get up there? Inverse. Gravity. That's how you get up here. Uh, yeah. Death trap. Oh, you're an even bigger mimic. Cypress and Mahogany. Okay, so there was nothing in here except the bigger Mimic. Cool. More of these guys. They refuse to really drop anything. Goosey. Oh god, the ninjas! Oh god, lots of ninjas. Oh god, they've got ninjutsu! Eastern fabric. Okay. So, gotta watch out for ninjas. Darn it. Be nice if I could actually get, like, the ninja shard. Ooh. Caps can cause petrification. That's cool. We got chest up here with more money. And a warp! Okay, cool. Um, there's definitely still a lot more that we can do. So let's just keep on exploring. Oh boy, he's getting stronger. And, okay, augment strength. So we have that, we have the last of the hats. Well, actually, hold on. If the ninjas can kind of go Inverse. through it, then so can I. Inverse. Perfect. Ah! Okay, Shinobi Guard. Okay. What does it... I also realized that I never put back on my Valkyrie dress. Ooh! Okay, Valkyrie dress. Shinobi Garb. Garment from the forest allows you to move silently. Gives me resistance to darkness, poison, 
curse and looks like petrification. Good increase in my strength. It's a major decrease to my luck. But that's really the only downside. What is happening over there? Okay, well, my Silver Knight's doing pretty good. Getting lots of additional pickpockets. Uh oh, uh oh, they can grab the walls. Okay, let's maybe get a little bit of healing back. Where do you, oh, okay. Oh god, you have wind powers! Okay, so what exactly was that? Because I did not see a name pop up. Uh, Kamikaze! Oh jeez. Why does it have wind powers? Oh, wait a minute, there was a chest. Oh, on the other side. Got it. Okay. Now, thankfully, I've got some pretty good... Ah! I've got some pretty good MP regeneration, so... I should be... Ooh! I even get my MP back up. Neat! Okay, so we can head over that way, or... Oh... This is one of those special ones, but I guess this one is the Traveler Key. Okay, uh, let's maybe try to find some sort of save point. Yeah... Hopefully there's a save point kind of close to that. Oh! Darn you and your shuriken! Crimsonite? Okay, well that works. He can also do backflips like he's freaking Ryu Hayabusa. Ow. I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to dodge the wind attack too. Aha! You fool! I outmaneuvered you! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Okay, more Crimsonites. A Tengu statue? Huh. More Jews, oh god! Manju! Isn't that food? It is food. Huh. Um, I also haven't seen a lot of blood recently, so I can't really do my blood steal. Uh, what is up here? Refillable chest with soy sauce, miso, and some cypress. Okay. Uh-oh. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's all cinematic and I don't like it one bit, especially with how low health I'm at. Ha! Jerk! Okay, level up. I very much like a save point. So I can go back to some of these things. Okay. Just kind of do that. Oh, this is just a dead end. With an Ofuda talisman. Huh. There it is. Ofuda talisman. A ritual eastern talisman imbued with the protection of the Kami. Okay, a little bit of defense, strength, con, and a bit of darkness resistance. Or no, that's... 
curse resistance. Huh. Yeah, I figured that's what it was. Okay, uh, well, I'm gonna get my plunderer ring back. Okay, well, this is... I'm in a bit of a pickle. Um, I can just kind of warp back, though. Unfortunately, there's not an easy way to jump back up there. Um... And there just, no matter where I go, it's not gonna be easy getting back. Unless I decide to just kind of wait or use up any items. Uh, I mean, I've got plenty of healing stuff here. I need a fish. Alright, well, I'm probably gonna have to fight ninjas very cinematically. Oh, jeez. Okay, got that. Got another shinobi guard, you jerk. Woo! Ninja shard! What's the ninja shard? A shuriken, because of course it is. Are we good? I think we're good. And we head up even higher. Uh, refillable chest. More soy sauce, miso, and cypress. We have a boss store and a bookshelf. But lore! The ritual is tomorrow, but we have a problem. One of the children we selected, Miriam, has fallen into a deep slumber. And her crystal, which accounts for half the catalyst we intended to use, has lost its power. I suspect my friend, but it matters not. The ritual's chances of success have waned, but we must find a way. Whilst Bail did not come, the summoning was a triumphant success. Demons have flooded into our world, proving the validity of the guild's beliefs and the necessity of our presence. However, I never imagined it would lead to such catastrophe. Was I foolish to heed my superiors so blindly? <sighs> what is done is done. All right, and save point. Yeah, save point. Okay. So first off, I'm gonna save. And we've got two things that we could do. So, we've got a main boss there, but we also have this boss over here. Because we got that Traveler's Key, and it might be that these are more optional challenges more than anything. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to head back, invert gravity, and that way I can avoid all this ninja nonsense. Because they can try to shoot fire, they can try to throw shurikens at me. But at least I can avoid them. Ow, ow, ow! Ow, oh, jeez. Jerk. Okay, once again, just kind of head through the top. Wow, I can even avoid the cat, too. Okay, well, that actually greatly simplifies matters. Because I just need to get rid of... Oh, boy, you die bomb. Okay, avoid the ninja. Let's see what is through here. The carpenter's room. Oh, God, that deals a lot of damage. Okay, um... What can help me? 124 there. Ifuda might not be bad. Risk ring would be really dumb. I'm not good at this game to do that. Um, sure. Traverser's ring. Uh, also, hat. Uh, shards. What do I want here? Um, what expertise is probably going to be best? Paintings. Wow, the paintings barely do anything. What is that? 
Oh boy. A demon lord? I am almost dead. Okay, I'm just trying to go at this and I am just getting my butt kicked. Trying to get rid of the demon lord so that way I only have to deal with one, but that's starting to become a bit of a problem. Where's where's the unicorn ring? Where's the unicorn ring? Here it is. Unicorn ring. Um fish. Pizza. I don't know if that actually works with those consumable items, but you know what? I will Man, that deals a lot. And even just touching touching them just deals so much. Oh god, that Okay, um, new directional. What do we get? Vlad C. Launch a fo focused ball of dark energy. Oh, crap. He summoned another one. Okay, I do not want to be hit with that saw blade. Oh, God. He's just gonna keep summoning demon lords indefinitely. This is bad. This is actually quite bad. This is really bad. This is real bad. Okay, just focus on him. Uh-oh. Okay. Crap. Okay, yeah, this is getting really be real bad. Um, ooh, maybe if I tried investing in EX potions, that might work best for me. Ah! Him and his freaking knives. Him and his freaking knives! None of this other stuff really heals for all that much. Oh god! He throws so fast! Um... Hold on. Does he... I'm not really seeing much of any blood. Man, how am I supposed to dodge any of this crap? Because he just aims exactly where I'm at. How am I supposed to dodge? Somehow he missed that. I'm not... Oh, God. Last high potion. I am running dangerously low on everything. Come on! Okay, I have a ring that says how much health he has left. How much health does this dude have left? Let's see, where is it, 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 what ring was it, where, what was it, what was it? Um, sliding, likelihood of crits, distorts where is your voice, um, Dances, crow, ritual side, reveal on me health. Here we go. He's almost dead. Okay, we've almost got this. We've almost got this. It's used up pretty much everything that we have, but we've almost got this. Uh. Yeah! Is that it? Was that it? No... No reward? I also never actually... Used this that I got. Not that it really matters. Also, the saw blade doesn't actually hurt me. 
So this was safe all along. Okay, um... Well, the good news is, was that I've killed a few demon lords, and I even got the shard. Um... I was gonna say, it's like, it's not really doing anything. Um... So where is this carpenter guy? Ninja, Kamikaze, Gap. Abyssal Guardian, the Demon Lord, Master Carpenter. You're kidding me. He's a boss that you refight. After all that, and none of his drops are guaranteed. So if I want any chance of getting any of that stuff... Let's get the hell out of here. That's dumb! You fight through all of that, and you, you're not even guaranteed anything. Got any targets? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Uh, oh, well, I guess we can turn in the Guzions. Good work. I suppose that is something we could do. But we needed to kill demon lords, right? Here's what I've turned up on the Yes, we need to kill... Th we need to kill three more of them. Ah, <laughs> Okay, well, the good news is, is that I think we are at a point where the EX potions would be really nice to have. The bad news is that trying to make the EX potions requires a lot of materials and is going to require a lot of money. I mean, granted, like... If I find holy water, mithridate, or stone thaw, like I'll go with this. That's not really a bad thing to just make the panacea here. But it costs three panacea and four high potions to make one EX potion. Come back. Oh, well I can actually make so high potions though, right? Need? No, I need regular potions. But I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I can do that. I'll go with and this. make two high potions. Okay, so we got through point. all of this as well as a crap ton of grinding if we really wanted to try to get the... If we wanted to just make the EX potions. I have something... What are you looking to buy? Um. Oh. You don't sell. Well, no. She will sell them. I just need to first get there. And it takes 7,000 gold to make one EX potion. I mean. It's a little bit cheaper. Is this right? Thank you. It is honestly just a little bit cheaper just to do that. Thank you. And then I can just use the potions to make the high potion. Still hate those lanterns. It's good. So, what'll it be? Okay. So craft high potion, make two, you can do that. And EX potion. So, if I want to just make this... Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So, I need... 7,000 be the easiest way to do I'll that. With this. There. All done. Okay. Come back. So, we have either 7,000... 
to get the materials to just make that. If we wanted to just buy it outright. I have so what are you looking to buy? It's 10,000. Okay, well, that's definitely not worth it. Um, if I wanted to just use the base ingredients, it'll cost me 7,000. Or if I want to just do it from the base ingredients, I need to buy a waystone too. Is the pen we have a deal? Okay, so I need, let's see, I need four potions for one high potion. So I need 16 to make an EX potion. So 16 times 200 is 3,200. Uh, and then, so 32 plus three of those, which is 37. So that's 32 plus 27 is 5,900. So it is actually worth it to just buy all of the base ingredients and just go from there. Um... Unfortunately, I, it, it takes a lot longer because I can only have nine of these at a time for some stupid reason. Uh, but that is a way for me to be able to get more EX potions, which I'm gonna need. Thank you. Oh boy, okay, well, at least I can pretty much, I can pretty much assume that these other doors are just similar to that carpenter. They are what appear to be optional challenges against boss-like enemies. But that's the thing. They are optional. So... That's kind of the big thing. Do I really want to go out of my way to go and grind off of these bosses? I mean, if I grind off the carpenter one more time, then at the very least I'd have enough demon lords to be able to do that, but having to deal with all of that? Plus, how much healing that I had to do, and I still barely won. E yeah, I'm not really gonna bother all that much. In the meantime, I think we are probably good to call it a day. So, next time on Let's Play, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. We have yet another boss that we need to go and take on. I do not have that much in terms of healing. I have one EX potion and two very low healing foods. And that's about it. So there's not really... Okay, thankfully he doesn't really do damage. So at the very least... I was gonna say, it's like, is there like a rocker in me? I don't recall there being one. No, that's just the actual music. So we have an actual boss up here though. It's gonna take a little bit of time to go and traverse through everything. Um, but it shouldn't take all too long. And, you know, if <laughs> we're gonna need more healing items, we're gonna need more healing items. But hopefully one EX potion, just one full heal, as well as maybe some passive healing, hopefully that'll be enough. Keyword is hope. Until next time, everyone. Take care.